Hi friends and welcome, welcome to Bedtime Stories. I'm so glad you joined us this evening. It's great to see everyone, boys and girls. Thank you so much. I hope you invited some friends tonight for Bedtime Stories. So we're going to get started. But before we get started, don't forget Make sure you have on your nice pajamas, your nice soft blanket, and a nice stuffed animal to curl up with. All right, I have my Clifford. And tonight's story is called Shy Charles by Rosemary Wells. All right, let's see what being shy is all about. And maybe some of you are shy, and we can talk about that later. All right, my friends. Charles was happy as could be. But he liked to play alone. He wouldn't talk to Wanda Sue, and he never went near the phone. It's a new day, said Charles's mother. Let's go in the store and say hello. We'll buy a sweet potato pie and we'll say goodbye before we go. Wonderful morning, said Mrs. Belinsky. A chocolate surprise for a beautiful boy. Say thank you, whispered Charles's mother. Thank you, yelled Mrs. Belinsky. Enjoy, his mother told him. Say goodbye, Charles hid inside a flour sack. Goodbye with kisses, said Miss Belinsky. Someday, when he's big, he'll kiss me back. I'm so embarrassed, said Charles's mother. You never say goodbye or thank you. Lucky for you that I'm so nice. Another mother would spank you. This can't go on, said Charles's dad. I'm sick and tired of thank you fights. It's time he played football or joined the ballet. Next Tuesday, Charles was in tights. Isn't he sweet, cried Madame LaFleur. Charles wouldn't say maybe or no or yes. For a week, he pretended to be asleep. Charles was not a success. So Charles's father took him to town and brought and bought him some beautiful football things. The shirt was scarlet and the shoulder pads. The helmet had silver wings. Charles said his father, you'll be the best. Like lightning, you'll streak across the grass. Like butter, you'll melt the defensive line and you'll throw the winning pass. Charles trembled like an autumn leaf. Hi, roared the coat crop. Hi, roared the coach. My name is Fred. He doesn't look so well to me. Take him home and put him to bed. Charles said his dad, you're a jelly roll. 
You're just a cowardly custard. You're like a sandwich without the bread, not to mention the ham and mustard. How will you ever go to school or find a job or get married? Charles sat down and cried so hard he had to be carried. Then Charles's father murmured low, a babysitter is coming tonight. You know the one, it's Mrs. Block and everything will be all right. The sun went down, the sitter came, and his parents left at six o'clock. Charles skedaddled up the stairs. Come back, little push cake, cried Mrs. Block. Charles played happily in his room. He made a spaceship out of his chairs. Suddenly, there was a terrible crash. Mrs. Block had fallen down the stairs. Charles got her onto the sofa. He told her, now don't be nervous. He brought her a blanket and cocoa. Then he called the emergency service. He saved my life, moaned Mrs. Block. He's a prince, a gem, a hero. And everyone shouted, thank you, Charles. But Charles said, Zero. And that is the end of our story. Shy Charles. Charles was a mouse and he said few words, boys and girls, didn't he? Do you know anybody that's shy or maybe you're shy? But in the end, even though Charles was shy, he did a good thing when the babysitter had an accident, right? Yes, so it's so important, even when you are quiet and you don't like to talk much, it, there are some times when it's very important that you speak up and talk, right? And the more you talk, the more comfortable you'll be, right? I think that's a great idea, friends. So remember that if you're a little shy in new situations, it's okay. All right, my friends, I'm sure you enjoyed tonight's read aloud. Thumbs up for sure. I enjoyed this story as well. Thank you so much for joining us, friends. Don't forget to leave your email and request a pair of listening ears. All right, my friends. Brush your teeth really good. Get all the germs off your hands. Wear your mask out at school and in public, wherever you go, so you can stay safe. All right, my friends. Clifford and I say good night. We'll see you next time, my friends, on Bedtime Stories. And don't forget, invite some new friends. All right, bye, friends. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Like a mummy 
gonna sleep like a baby tonight.